If you're looking for a stacked GTA 5 or Red Dead Online account, look no further than Crispy Mods, link will be in the description, as well as they offer some great modding tools to help get you started or help you along your journey in GTA or Red Dead Online. What's going on guys, it is Jacob and today we're going to be going over some potential GTA 6 leaks and news about the protagonist, Vice City being the next map, and some of the struggles that Rockstar actually had to go through when developing this game, and they actually touched on it quite a bit, and I'll be going over the major points from the Bloomberg Report, which is a gaming company that does these sort of reports. Typically, Bloomberg's gaming reports are credible and are coming from apparently Rockstar employees, but as always, take it with a grain of salt, and nothing is 100% confirmed until Rockstar Games publicly says it. I will also leave the full report down below in the description if you'd like to check it out for yourself. If I forget, please remind me. I tend to forget those kinds of things. So probably one of the most groundbreaking news from this entire article is that Rockstar is going to be featuring their very first playable female protagonist for the first time in the GTA series. The report also says the woman who is Latina will be one of the pair of leading characters in a story influenced by the bank robber Bonnie and Clyde. This suggests that we'll be getting two characters we will switch to in the campaign, similarly to GTA 5 probably. For those of you that may not even know who Bonnie and Clyde are, they were an American couple, one boy, one girl, during the Great Depression that would rob banks and just do a bunch of robbing sprees and stuff. It was quite the romance story, but it's not really important. So Rockstar and their reference to Bonnie and Clyde is actually pretty cool and how they're using this real life uh, group of people. And I think it's gonna be really cool for a story. In Red Dead 2, if you play that story, we were really hoping that Arthur, the main protagonist of that game, would actually have a love interest that he would actually be able to be with, but unfortunately we were unable to see that during the story, so hopefully we'll finally get a nice romance or love story from some love interest in GTA 6. If you've been looking for a GTA Online RP server, then look no further than Grand RP. They have truly one of the best open free servers on the market. Whether you're brand new or a veteran, go do yourself a favor and go down below in the description. Click that referral link and register now. And entering Grand Now as a promo code will earn you an extra $25,000 of in-game money to start your brand new GTA RP life. Thanks again, Grand RP, for the sponsor, and let's hop right into it. And the next bit of news that we will be going over is that the next city or next map we'll be on is Vice City. We've spent the better part of a decade in GTA 5 San Andreas, but it'll be time to move on, finally. The codename for GTA 6 has been revealed to be Project Americas. The report says Rockstar previously had plans for it to be larger than any other previous games, featuring large areas of North and South America. Now the scale has been cut back just to focus on Vice City. The reports say that we will see the return of the fictional Miami setting and the surrounding areas. Despite the reduction in scope, Rockstar will update the map on a regular basis over time with apparently new cities. It is also being reported that the game will have more interior locations than previous GTA titles. So all very exciting, very, very ambitious, which I love to hear. And I remember back in like 2018, it's crazy to think that that was already four years ago now that Project Americas was actually leaked as the GTA 6 project. And I remember hearing things about there being a North and South America and that it was mostly gonna take place in Miami Vice City. And as time goes on, those reports, even from four or five years ago, are still kind of holding true even today. It goes to show that the one of the greatest gaming companies of all time, Rockstar Games, despite their, uh, you know, lack of greatness the past few years, um, goes to show that this game is so popular that you can't just be perfectly silent over a nine year development span. Someone out of the hundreds or thousands of people working on this project is gonna spill the beans. Over nine years, people leave the company, people enter the company, people intern for the company, people, you know, maybe get an acting role for the company. You know, there's, there's so many factors and reasons why that this could very potentially be true and has stayed consistent over the past four or five years with leaks, you know, pointing us towards Vice City and having a female protagonist. A project this large, this ambitious with the 
Rockstar Games is it can't be perfectly silent. You can't, you know, kill people off if they talk or threaten their families. It's not like movies or anything, or it's not like the video games that we love and play, GTA. You know, some people are going to spill, some people are going to say things, some people are going to leak things, and, you know, over the time, the past four or five years, I believe more and more that we're going to have a female protagonist and that it's going to end up in Vice City, and it does kind of make sense that they remake Vice City considering the first three GTAs, well, the first really three main installment of three D GTAs was in Liberty City, Vice City, and San Andreas. We've seen Liberty City and San Andreas be remade in an HD form, so now it's time for Vice City, and I think that makes a lot of sense. I'm not going to go into too much detail of the development issues that Rockstar went through over the past four, five, however many freaking years, you know. But they said that the morale has never been higher because the past few years they've been kicking out some of the quote unquote frat boy culture and maybe some of the larger egos of the company that were essentially pulling them back, you know, slowing them down with production and morale and it was a bad work environment and apparently over the past few years Rockstar has been aiming to fix that, making their workers, you know, have a better place to work at, which is good news. I mean, we want the, the people working on this game to actually want to work on this game. We don't want them working fingers to the bone, 80 hour weeks, you know, that's just, that's crap. That's not what they should do at all. Some employees and workers also mentioned that at the earliest we possibly may see GTA 6 is 2024. I would guess probably in the fall, but it's still really pushing it and they'll probably think they'll need another year, year and a half, two years to work on it. So personally for me, I believe that, you know, 2025 is a pretty damn good date to expect GTA 6. And one last thing I would like to touch on in the Bloomberg report, all the GTA 6 news is set aside. We've already kind of went over it, but there's one last thing I would like to talk about is that the canceled GTA Online update back in 2020. As you guys probably know, the summer of 2020, we're going through the pandemic. A bunch of shit was going on in real life, riots and just police brutality and that sort of thing. You guys remember it. We all lived through it. It was a pretty sucky time, especially during quarantine. And after all these years, we do hear that Cops and Crooks was actually a thing that they were working on and a project that they actually had to cancel due to the things that were happening in real life. So that's why we got the quote unquote summer surprise or summer trash bag that we got for that DLC that summer with the yacht missions or whatever, which were completely useless. Nobody liked that DLC and I don't blame them, but instead of that, we should have gotten or we would have gotten Cops and Crooks. That's it for the news. Let me know what you guys think down below with a comment. Do you guys believe some of these GTA 6 rumors? Personally, after four or five years of hearing the very, very similar things that we've been hearing, I believe it at this point that we're going to have a female protagonist and that's going to be set in Vice City. And this project is apparently very, very ambitious. So please remember to drop a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications, check out more of my content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.